today's topic is about successful management of your breeding or mating season. And in management of our mating or breeding season, we have uh, three areas that we need to properly manage in order to execute a proper or an effective breeding season. And number one is we need to look at those management practices that are pre the breeding season. Then we need to look at those management practices that are supposed to be managed during the breeding season and then post the breeding season. So remember as commercial goat producers, it is very important that we always add value to the new offsprings that come out of our breeding season. And in that case, you have to critically look at the different strengths of your bucks and does. So what are those pre-breeding season management practices that you need to look at? You need to look at four important areas when you're preparing your goats for the breeding season. Number one, you need to look at the nutritional requirements of your bucks and does. And in so doing, you have to look at the body condition of your goats and that body condition that is going to tell you whether your goats need to be supplemented or your goats need to be flushed in preparation for the breeding season. So depending on the body condition, you'll be able to know which feed supplements or which feed program you need to now introduce in order to boost their body condition as you prepare for them to start mating. Then the second area that you need to look at is their health. Their health is both internal and external health. So the health condition is monitored by ensuring that you, you lower the parasite burden. And lowering the parasite burden means that you need to deworm your goats. You also need to control the external parasites, most especially the ticks, the mites, the fleas, and so on. Then the other third point is you also need to prepare the infrastructure that you're going to use in handling the goats during the breeding season. Remember when we are uh, joining our goats, we join goats based on the strength that exists within the male and the female. So that infrastructure that yeah, is very important in addition to ensuring that during the mating season or during uh, joining, the, both the male and female are safe from maybe predators or external influence. The, the fourth point is we also need to prepare performance data or records of our does and bucks. And in preparation of the performance data, we also track the lineage of our males and females. And in tracking the lineage, we want to eliminate inbreeding. With me, I have two uh, cards that are very important in preparing your goats for the mating season. And one of them is the does register. And the information that is captured in, in the does or the dams register includes the does ID or year tag number, its breed, its date of birth, its father, its mother, the number of parities are also important and any remarks that uh, you need to put down as you prepare those different doors for the joining or the mating season. Then the other record is the goat's mating or joining card. This one captures all, all the different doors that you intend to breed or to join with a particular buck. And this one card for this particular buck will capture uh, around 30 doors. And those are pre-season preparations. Remember, we talked about boosting the body condition and in boosting the body condition, we also have to uh, provide minerals, ad lib uh, to the goats. Water has to be there and also vitamins have to be given to the goats because all that is going to enhance performance of your doors and bucks. So during the, the mating season, we uh, also have to consider certain management practices. Number one is it's not recommended for you to mate does and bucks that are still young. 12 months of age is the recommended age for you to mate or to join your doe. Their reproductive life is going to be affected because you are going to mate them when they are still young and in so doing you are going to lose at the end of the day because such does will 
uh, most cases give you only one kid and yet for us to be profitable we need more than a kid or we need to have two kids at least for every birth so that is a very important point and remember carrying a pregnancy for, for five months is also very stressing so ensure that you met your dose after attaining 12 months then for the bucks it is also important that when you are preparing to join your bucks you should meet them on attaining at least nine months we know that the bucks are sexually mature uh, between five to six months but it's very important that you give them those extra three months to help them increase in size such that they're able to perform optimally so when you're preparing your bucks for joining we recommend that you give not more than 15 doors for a buck that has around nine months then for the bucks that are over a year don't give them more than 20 doors during a mating season of 42 to 45 days and for the bucks that are over two years it's okay if you give them doors or females that are over 25 in a breeding season of 42 to 45 days so those are very important uh, management practices that you need to look at in addition to continuously supplementing their nutritional needs give them uh, minerals ad lib water ad lib in addition to a concentrate that will boost their energy demands so those are the mating season practices we have just talked about the pre-season we have discussed the, the during the, the mating season practices and then we now need to look at the post season practices remember after the 42 to 45 days uh, we expect that the doors have conceived and they need to carry the pregnancies to term so it is very important that post mating you also proceed with supplementation of their energy and protein uh, needs because if you only take them back to foraging without supplementation then there are high chances that conception rates or the ovulation rates of your dose are going to be compromised so continue with supplementation in order to boost the kidding rate of your dose likewise the males have also been running around they have lost considerable weight which weight has to be uh, enhanced so those are some of the highlights of uh, breeding season management that I wanted us to look at in order to maximize reproductive performance of our doors and bucks. Thank you for always uh, watching and listening to us.